All right, we're gonna go through and do a leaf. I've already done some of the lines. Leather's a bit dry, so we're gonna spray it real quick. That's all you gotta do. That's why I like the spray bottle. So, we're gonna leave that right there and just go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, <clears throat> so whenever I do leaves, not that ball, I like this ball better. Whenever I do these leaves, I like to go through and bevel the stem first. So I like to do the very first thing. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. There we go. Stems beveled. So we can put that beveler up. Now this is called a leaf liner. This is a Craft Tool Pro. It's a B2076. And what you do with the leaf liner is you come through, butt it up to your stem, and angle it. and it gives it a little bit more definition right there. You can see where it widens that bevel line out and it makes little tiny lines like the veins of a leaf. Now we're going to come through and there you go. It's all lined up. Now you're going to take, I like to use my thumbprint, you might like to use your uh, pear shaders, but I prefer the thumbprint. And you're going to angle these back as you're going up. You don't want to go straight in on each one. It doesn't look right. And there you go. So you're done with the parachute with the um, thumbprint. Now you're gonna come in and I'll use the tandy one. Use your leaf lifter or your lifter and I do something to my uh, pedal lifters whenever I get them I go through and I take my jewelers rouge on my straw and I polish the bottom of them it makes them go in easier and it makes them sharp so they actually cut into the leather right there where they're lifting it up. So we're done with our leaf, our pedal lifter. Come through and I'll use my Tandy Craft Tool Pro B2043. And I'll just round these out. If you're just starting out, I don't recommend you trying to do this backwards. Uh, I've got a lot of practice on doing it, so I can run it across these lines, forwards, backwards, whatever. But when you're just starting out, you want to make sure you can see what you're doing. Now, 
I'm going to turn it like this so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And the beveler is a walking tool. You don't want to press it down in there. You want to hold it, if you can see, right on the edge of that line. You should be able to slide it across that line without doing anything. So that's how I think a beveler should be used. You know, some people might disagree and want to do the one hit and move, but I don't like doing that. It's too slow in my opinion. Now, I call this tool Mr. Squiggles. Make fun of me, laugh all you want. His name is Mr. Squiggles. He is a Craft Tool Pro V2795. It's a Vayner tool. It's four leaves and turnbacks, and you can use it in a couple of different places. But you'll see why I call him Mr. Squiggles. See? Make squiggles. So, um, I like to use this tool kind of wide apart. And it's just my personal preference, my style. I think it makes it look like the leaf is going like this better if they're wider apart than if they're stacked right on top of each other. And that's how you do a leaf. Now let's do some decorative cuts on it. Everyone's a little bit different. I think I've said that about a hundred times now. I prefer to start in the middle of my thumbprint and work in. Now we're going to come over here. And I like to give it a little bit of curve, but to stay inside the thumbprint. And there you go. That's how you do a leaf. And let's move it up here. You can see it. That one's pretty bland just because the pattern's really big and my pear shaders are not. I do fine work usually.